Today I'll be rating Splash Lake for the TurboGrafx CD. It quietly came out in America in 1992, and I have to say, it's unlike any game I've played before. The character you play as is a heavyset ostrich named Ozzy. For reasons unexplained, he has no legs, so he hops around the stages like a giant beanbag. You and the enemies are confined to a series of tiles suspended above water. These tiles are supported by brick pillars extending up out of the water. By damaging tiles with your beak, you can cause sections to fall down, taking enemies with them. Once all the enemies are gone, you move on to the next stage. The concept is simple yet genius. The first few stages will make you think the game's going to be a cakewalk, but slowly the stages get more complex, requiring intense problem solving. If you're not extra careful where you peck, you'll end up drowning yourself. All the different enemies have specific ways in which they move and attack. Exploiting these characteristics is key. Most of them can be lured into certain parts of the board where they can be trapped and killed. When there's a mixture of enemy types on the same stage, it can be hard to figure out which ones to kill first. As you journey through the game, you can pick up hidden items. There's one on each stage, and it appears when you peck on a certain pillar. These don't give you any new powers, but if you collect all 60 items from all 60 stages, the game will unlock an additional 60 stages. And if you find the 60 items in those, the game unlocks yet another 60 stages, bringing the total number of stages to 180. I've never seen so many unlockable stages in a game before. Thankfully, the internal memory of the Turbo CD saves your progress so you can go back to any stage you've already beaten. The extra stages are very difficult, but they don't introduce anything new. After a while, they just start to feel like extra work. Splash Lake also has two-player co-op. It can be a lot of fun due to the game's sense of humor. A mistake made by one player can have dire consequences on the other. The stages in co-op are the same ones as the one-player mode, but some of the smaller stages have more tiles added so the players have more room to work around each other. To give yourselves more room, I suggest adjusting the option in the configuration screen that lets you walk through each other. Speaking of the configuration screen, there's a tremendous amount of things to play around with there. While all the craziness of the game is taking place, you'll be treated to CD quality music thanks to the Turbo CD's large storage capacity. I liked how it didn't start to loop over again every time I died, except for the boss fights. I was able to hear the entire song. The music is enjoyable, but it does have a tendency to get stuck in your head for the entire day. Every 10 stages you'll see a short animation called Ostrich Theater. It's kind of pointless, but it does bring back memories of the old Miss Pac-Man intermissions. Overall, I think of the game as being well programmed but there are some things that indicate otherwise. When I played the game for a long time, about 40 minutes, the game started to glitch. Certain sound effects became staticky, the music started going out, and sometimes stages failed to load, leaving the screen in darkness. There's also something flawed with the way the time limit works. When the time runs out, all the tiles fall into the water, but instead of having you try again, it sends you into the next stage, even if you fell into the water. Not only does this allow you to cheat your way out of a tough stage, it makes the time limit kind of pointless. On the configuration screen, you can alter how long the time limit lasts, but you can't set it to infinite, so I suggest you just make it as long as possible.
Splash Lake is unique, quirky, and has a tremendous number of levels. But after the first couple of days, I started to get bored with the concept. Overall, it's an above average game. And if you bring a second player along, it makes it even more enjoyable. People with a TurboGrafx CD should definitely check it out. The ratings are coming up. See you next time.